Hello, and welcome back. Well, surprise, surprise, there is a part three. To uh, follow up on the details on the previous slides, I have removed and tested out a lot of the active components on the uh, horizontal deflection section that I pointed out earlier that uh, was suspect. So I have uh, removed one end of the uh, active components and tested them out. And uh, they all have tested out okay. I went over here to the uh, final drivers, as you would say, on this pair, Q212 and 213. And uh, you'll notice on the one slide there that uh, there was a short that I measured on this particular transistor. So it looked obvious as to where a problem was. But uh, when I uh, took this out and measured again, it was okay. So uh, very uh, finicky. This transistor here, which was the uh, Q213, measured okay in circuit and out. Although the HFE was around uh, over 100, whereas uh, once I measured this one here again, uh, which was now functional, its HFE was around 60. So almost a doubling of the HFE between these two transistors. So I would think that uh, looking back here at the schematic, you know, I would think that uh, these guys working in pair, you'd probably figure that they would want to be uh, closer matched. Just, just a theory. But uh, this one here tested out okay. This one here is the uh, questionable one. So now that I have it out, I can get some part numbers on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder everything back in and fire it up and see what happens. It could be that this guy was uh, flaky there for a moment and by uh, me uh, putting a soldering gun to him got him back in operation but uh, who knows what's going to happen now so uh, I do have uh, uh, identified uh, one issue which is no longer an issue let's put it all back together and see what happens well I ran into a little snag this is the original transistor and we can see there's a base leg on there missing. When I took it off, all three legs were there and it was solid. And uh, then as I uh, was just checking on this transistor, you know, I, I start touching that middle leg and you know how you can feel that it's still there but if you move it back and forth a few times it's gonna bust off. Well I had that feeling and I knew, well, you know what, I could probably put it in gently, but, you know, you know that lead's getting ready to go, so I pushed it back and forth a couple times and it, it popped off, so uh, I knew that was going to happen. So, somehow, I'm sure this thing wasn't, you know, I'm sure they build these things so you can move these legs back and forth thousands of times. You know, in this case here, this one probably only moved back and forth uh, three, four times, if that, and she broke off. So that could have been an indication of, uh, you know, another bad thing on this transistor. So having said that, I had to uh, find replacement online. That one disappeared. Don't care about it. So uh, these are pretty well, cost me about five bucks a piece. Well, probably more plus shipping, but uh, direct replacement. I've got two here. 
Uh, that one there has an HFE of about 30 and uh, this one here has got about 50. These old ones I measured they had about 50 so I'll put this one back in and then I can continue on. A little bit of a setback I'll put that in and uh, hopefully I am right. Everything's in. All jumpers are in. Everything's soldered up. All I need to do is power it on. Let's give her a shot. Well, there's the bad news. No change. I'm pissed. Back to the schematics.